Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance as you may be able to tell. And the topic of today's video is what is the best completely legal way to make money in Kingdom Come Deliverance after the 1.5 update. As many of you know I've covered topics like this before and a lot of those have been patched or don't seem to work anymore because of how they've worked the game. Personally, this tells me that they don't want us having a whole bunch of money sitting around because we're going to need it in one of the DLCs. So that means it's even more important to know now how we're going to be making money throughout the game. So I decided to look around and I, I found the best way to do it is still one of the classic ways to do it. And that is, of course, some cinematic reveal there for you. Uh, by going to Perby Slavitz early on in the game, early to mid game I should say, and killing everyone there. Now the thing about this method is, first of all, it only works if it's before the main story mission, Baptism of Fire. After that, if you come here, it will always be empty. There will never be anything here. Uh, now this method is great for a lot of reasons. One of which being, like I said, it's the best currently 100% legal way to make money in the game. The second one being, it's just great for leveling up. So even if you don't need the money or you think you don't need the money, this is a great place to start for a lot of reasons. You could use it, as you can see, there's nettle all over the place, so you could use it for your uh, herbalism, or herbalism, however you'd like to say that. Because it's, you know, there's a lot of them all clustered together. Uh, another thing is, especially if you like archery as much as I do, this is a great place to level up with that, because there are tons of enemies, and if you're smart enough, you can move around and pick them all off without getting into too much danger. And uh, that also makes it, you know, a pretty easy way to do it, and then you can just loot their bodies and make a ton of money. But you could also practice melee, you could practice pickpocketing, because, you know, if they catch you, they'll just fight you. It's not like they're going to turn you in. Your reputation can't go down. Uh, sneak. It's just, like I said, it's a great place to level. So we're going to go through the process here and see how many people we can kill. Uh, I mean, ideally, the plan is to kill all of them. Probably using a variety of ways. Oh boy, he's going to catch me. He caught me. Where the hell did he go? I hate it when they do this. It's like they don't want you to shoot them, so they crowd ya. Okay, there we go. So, let's just keep doing it. Let's see if we can take out everyone, and then once we do, we're gonna loot their bodies, and, uh, you know, sell it all. So, enjoy. So there you have it. Uh, it should be, if you get them all, somewhere between 25 and 30. It seems to vary for me, but anyway, about that many cumins and bandits combined. Uh, for convenience sake, I've grouped them together in two piles. Here's a pile of them here, and then there's another pile down there. We'll be looting both of them now. So uh, basically, since this is all for money, 
you know, I mean, like, there's a lot of advantages of doing this, but the main goal is money. We're going to take every single thing they have. Food, armor, weapons, groschen, lockpicks, everything. So I'm just going to time lapse that real quick, so... Right, so now that we've got everything they have, I'm actually not going to sell it in this video per se, but I'll tell you what to do with it from here on out. Uh, the thing about it is, since they've patched the available allowances at any of the traders, uh, especially the uh, millers, it's usually not possible to sell this all at once and get a profit for it. That being said, the merchants in town have a higher uh, buying limit, so it's smart to be on good terms with them so you can disperse this. But basically what I do with this since obviously it won't pay to transfer it to your horse because no matter what you do, you're still going to be over encumbered by it. As I just hop on my horse, ride to Talmberg, and put it all in my chest in Talmberg at the inn. And then I can use it however I'd like. Uh, a lot of high level gear and weapons uh, can be acquired this way. So, especially if you're early in the game and you don't have a nice suit of armor, you can get a lot from here. And I mean, hundreds of arrows, uh, quite a bit of food. I mean,. Yeah, a lot of dried food and everything. Uh, over here, I got 42 lockpicks from that, so if you want to practice lockpicking. Like I said, this is just an overall great way to do it. Uh, and even if it, it takes me a long time, the equipment and armor that I got is worth just thousands and thousands of Groshen. So this is still by far the best way to make money in the game as long as you don't want to break any laws. Because all you're doing here is taking out the enemies of the crown anyway. Well... That just about does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, why don't you consider leaving a like on this video? And if you like this content, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you can stay up to date on all of my videos as they come out. But, in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.